All right, guys, so we are in the back of the Stinger here. I've had some of you ask me over the last year about how I installed the amp in the Stinger, which is right behind me underneath here. I did not install this. However, what I wanna do is just kind of show you the setup. Now this is a base GT, so this isn't gonna help you guys who have the Harman Kardon, the GT2. That one's more complex, I've heard. But at least I can just show you how this is set up and then hopefully it provides some sort of value to you guys. So let me know down below if you have any questions. I also have a base knob that I ran. The knobs right there, wires ran through the doors. I gotta pull that out as well. Reverse engineer this, so to speak. So here's my amp, Crescendo Audio S1 V2, 1650 watts. Very small footprint, very high quality Korean amp. Uh, anyone that's in the car audio knows that Korea makes the best amps, best amp boards. This is a Class D, very, very efficient. I think it's the best bang for the buck. I watched tons of videos on YouTube and watched a bunch of like amp dyno tests. And this was the most efficient for stock electrical. This Stinger has 150, 150 50 amp alternator, which is pretty damn big. And I've been pushing this X8, which is 750 RMS. It's in a tune 35 hertz box. Thing freaking slaps. And because you're taking advantage of the, the sound pressure levels or bouncing off this straight back through here. It's like having, a, it's like being inside of a ported box. Anyways, let's get going here. I want to show you a quick layout. So obviously we mounted the amp up there. We put some like sound deadening material behind it so it didn't rattle. These are the RCA cables. He ran them in through there through a line out converter. So first things first, any electrical, I always highly advise you always disconnect the negative terminal. That's always a 12 millimeter bolt right there. That's also going to hold on the ground for the amp. Great spot for it. That's another cool thing with the battery being back here. It's a very short distance for that power cable has to travel to your amp, which is beneficial. Okay, I see how he did this now. This is really, really easy. And again, this is the base GT. So there's this little panel here on the side. You're gonna remove that. Look here, look very carefully at these wires. There's a red and a blue wire in that harness and he tapped into those. All right, guys, so zooming in on this photo here, you can see it a little bit better to the far right of the screen. You'll see that other blue wire has a black stripe going through it. So that is obviously not the one we're gonna tap into. Out of all the wires here, it's a solid blue wire and a solid red wire. So red is the power, blue is the ground. So take a good look at that. This is a kicker line out converter. So I don't really see a model number, dude. I don't know where I got this off Amazon. This is just a kicker line out converter. All right, guys. And again, make sure you are referencing the back of the line out converter. It's gonna show you your ground and power wires that correspond to the blue wire, which is the ground wire and the red wire, which is going to be your power source. So that's the line out converter where your RCAs are gonna plug on this end, snaked them through. I don't know if he removed this. If he did, it looks like there's a 10 mil there and a 10 mil here. And I don't know, I don't think you have to remove all this. I would just get a coat hanger and run that through there personally. And then there's the remote wire. Remote wires right in that top fuse spot there. He tapped into it. So that's it, man. And then obviously everything else is self-explainable. You're gonna run your remote wire to your amp. You're gonna plug in your RCAs to your amp. Then you gotta power it, right? We got this fuse box here. There's the power where he tapped in right here. And then obviously the power wires run into the amp. And then I already showed you guys the ground. And then this base control knob, obviously you would run it there. That's gonna be kind of a pain in the ass maybe. I don't know, we'll see. I'll follow that up, ran it through the door all the way to the front there. That was actually probably the hardest part. So we got our RCAs running in here to the line out converter. And then that top green fuse there for the remote wire. That's it. It's really, really easy, man. I should have just did that myself, but I was busy working, so. And I went through another phone battery. <laughs> Typical. And just like that, man, you guys can throw an amp into your Kia Stinker. I'm telling you that system I have with the S1B2 and the X8 sounds so good. The bass is so low in the X8, it's insane. That little thing gets loud, trust me, it moves some air. I hope this video provided some value to you guys. If so, please do me a favor, hit the like button. Also, leave a comment down below if you have a Kia Stinger GT2 with the Harman Kardon sound system. I heard it's different, but it seems like the practical application of the remote wire and using the line out converter would be the same. I know there's more speakers and amps. That'll help people out, so leave that value down below. Awesome content coming with the Stinger and some other guys. Um, make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss it. I'm considering going down to Texas with uh, David underscore GT21. He also has a YouTube channel, check him out. He's an awesome dude, bunch of fast cars, nice weather. It'll be a good time. Until the next video, I will catch you guys later. Peace.